The World Migration Report is IOM's flagship publication and we certainly draw strength from our operational history. Um, we've worked all over the world in many different settings, so we have a lot of information and knowledge on migration processes. But increasingly we're being asked to bring that to uh, an evidence-based policy uh, kind of role and to be able to provide information on world migration globally, what's happening in terms of patterns and processes and trends, to be able to inform policy making deliberations as well as operational deliberations. Part of this uh, involves partnerships. Uh, there's certainly strength in um, IOM's operational capacity in the field, but increasingly we're working with some of the world's best uh, migration academics and researchers to ensure that the material that we present is accurate, that it is balanced, that it's rigorous, and that it actually takes into account the latest uh, research, the latest empirical evidence. The lead chapter in the thematic part of the World Migration Report is a new take on a perennial issue. It's on migrants' contributions, but it's looking at it in the context of this era of disinformation and disruption. And what we find in the very latest research and evidence is that there are, uh, especially in social media, but in other forms of media as well, voices that are not only ignoring uh, migrants' contributions, but they are actually attacking migrants and they're downplaying very significantly uh, the role of migrants in different settings in origin countries and more importantly and more pointedly in destination settings. So this chapter is about recalibrating and bringing back the evidence that we have drawn upon for a very long time in regards to migrants' contributions and how they actually support um, societies in economic terms, in socio-cultural terms and also in civic political terms. A big part of the World Migration Report is explaining migration patterns over a long period of time. So we work with some of the world's leading migration data experts to produce tailored uh, graphs to help explain uh, how migrants move, where they move, the situations that they face, whether that's internal displacement or whether that's cross-border displacement, in a way visually through uh, figures and graphs and tables in a summary way to explain very long-term trends. It's been one of the highlights of the World Migration Report and we're pleased to say that we find that people use them in uh, their studies, we, they use them in presentations, and we're also finding that um, people are using them in terms of fact-checking and media reporting, both in traditional media and social media. So that actually helps uh, us to strengthen and produce uh, visual data images that help to explain the migration patterns and processes that are going on you know, right around the world. We've previously printed every World Migration Report, as we do with most IOM publications, but this time it's only going to be available digitally uh, through our online website, but also through USB uh, cards as well. Now, there are two main reasons for that. The first, of course, is environmental. Not producing a hard copy World Migration Report will help us save one million pieces of paper in producing 4,000 uh, reports. It's a big report. Uh, and that's really important. And we also save in terms of transportation impacts because it is a large report and it is uh, quite hefty to transport around the world. There's also, of course, cost saving measures because it's expensive to print and we are able to produce it online at much lower cost.